Yo guys, how's it going? Robert Warshak here, and we're going to be taking a look at a very, very fun rogue deck that we had built, taking advantage of the new secrets, uh, the new legendary rogue card in the set, and also taking advantage of the fact that a lot of you still have your Highlander cards and, of course, Galakron cards. Um, so we're going to be taking a look at some secret Galakron Highlander rogue. This deck performed super, super well for me on ladder. If I can pull up some stats here right quick. So here are the stats. We went 10 and 5. Again, I am not a super, you know, I don't play a lot of Highlander decks, especially rogue. Um, so with having little experience, we did quite well. We grinded out quite a few legend ranks uh i want to say about about 1500 legend ranks we climbed with this deck and that's again with very little experience and uh yeah the deck felt good it was also very fun for those of you unfamiliar with how we do the deck guides we cover each and every card of the deck i'm going to explain why it's in there from there we're going to head to the games you're going to see me play this deck in action we had some exciting games and uh from there hopefully you guys can also replicate that on ladder all right so taking a look at the deck list we got backstab here zero mana deal two to an undamaged minion it's been a rogue staple for a long time now it's really good in the early game good with your combo cards and good at killing stuff shadow step this ideally we want to use this on cards like zephyrus but using it on cards like evil miscreant alex Straza, si agent some of our invoke cards it really just depends on the situation but using it on Zephyrus is like really really good black jack stunner not quite sure on this card yet I like it because it's just a really really good sap it's a good minion in itself and it makes your opponents like minion cost two more along with returning it to their hand so it's like even it's like a frozen trap sap it's insanely powerful um, but it's not super consistent because again we only run the three secrets in this deck dragon's horde it's a one mana discover a legendary minion from another class really good card in general because legendary minions are good and especially uh class specific ones pharaoh cat one mana one two add a random reborn minion to your hand reborn cards are generally pretty good Every almost tempo rogue slash secret rogue slash Galakron, Galakron rogue runs two of these guys, and it's really, really good. Praise Galakron. We run all of the Galakron cards because we run Galakron normally because we're a Highlander deck and we only run one of each. Getting Galakron to four is kind of hard, so normally just two invokes and then using Galakron for the Highlander deck is generally acceptable. Ambush, one of the new rogue secrets. After your opponent plays a minion, we summon a 2-3 Ambusher with Poisonous. Super good card and one of the better of the rogue secrets. Moving to Bamboozle. This is my least favorite of all of the rogue secrets because we don't want uh, to get bamboozled on cards that have death rattles, cards that are really big like Edwin. So depending on what minion they attack, maybe Evil Miscreant, Taunt, and then play Bamboozle bamboozle and then they make miscreant into a six drop so that works out pretty well but you definitely don't want to like play a giant edwin and then also have bamboozle down they attack edwin and bamboozle turns into a six drop when he was like a 12 12 or something like that dirty tricks probably the best rogue secret when your opponent plays a spell you draw two cards absolutely crazy insane of this Two damage, deal four damage if you combo it, normally deal two, but comboing this card isn't very hard because it costs two mana in itself, and a super good road card, been a part of the package for a long time. Sap, how do we not play Sap in a rogue deck? Card's just nuts. Moving to Shadow Jeweler, this is one of the new rogue legendary minions, super good cards, a two mana one five, so one five huge in stats, very hard to remove uh, for most decks in the early stages of the game. And it, after you play a secret, you discover a secret from a different class, meaning like you can get a Paladin Secrets, Mage Secrets, Hunter Secrets. So depending on the curve and what you're looking for, this card's stupid value. Like this card is so good. If this card lives on the board for one or two turns, you basically just win off of a, off of his ability. And the fact that he costs two mana is just, you can get him out early. They can't kill him. You just keep playing secrets for free and you win. Like you just win sky two mana one three pirate draw a card when it dies good card in general drawing is good and two mana one three in stats is pretty good zephyrus how do we not play zephyrus in a highlander deck it's one of the best cards akuma three mana three four stealth shuffle the upgraded prime uh into your deck as the upgraded prime it can't lose stealth so it's permanently stealth so just a good card uh not the core of the deck but a good card edwin Again, rogue decks without edwin are just bad this card just wins games you make a big early edwin your opponent can't kill it gg dude Moving to Evil Miscreant, Lackeys are good, Invoke's good, Lackeys generate tons of value. We also run Wiggles, Wiggles draws cards with Wand, which is what you basically pick every single time, 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, and Evil Miscreant's an insane card. Seal of Fate, again, it's an Invoke card. Um, SI Agent, this is really good against the Demon Hunters, which are on ladder and other aggro decks, because you're able to combo with like stuff like Coin or Backstab, but then you SI Agent, most of the time you get to kill two early game minions, big tempo swing, that's what Rogue likes, plus it can go face. Uh, Devoted, again, Invoke card, we run every Invoke card, because we run Galakron. 
Uh, Maev getting around taunts, big minions. We can't deal with them right away. She basically puts them on the back burner for two turns, and we can deal with it later. Waggle pick. Surprisingly super good. Worked out very well for me. I know more and more people are playing Acidic Swamp, Ooze, Harrison, and Weapon Destruction, so maybe not the best card right now. But in general, Waggle pick worked out really well for me. Chill the Vialicron, again, invoke card. Uh, Waste Warden. So, a lot of token druid out there, a lot of demon decks. Waste Warden surprisingly powerful, being able to deal three damage to a minion and then all others of the same type if they have a bunch of demons or beasts or whatever the case may be, we get to kill them all. Super good removal. Uh, Rogue has a hard time doing like wide board removal like AoE and this card allows us to do that. Flick, another good wide AoE board clear plus kills all the copies in their deck or hand. Exceedingly powerful card. How do you not play Flick? Tog, again. Super good card. If you have a miscreen out, you get a treasure. That treasure is a three mana wand. Draw three cards. They cost zero. You just cheat things out with Tog Waggle and he wins games on his own. Kronks. How do you not play Kronks in the Galakron deck? If you have Galakron down, he gets stupid good ability. If you don't have Galakron down and Galakron's not in your hand, you get to draw him. Stupid good ability. <laughs> Galakron. The point of the, not, I wouldn't say the point of the deck, but just a really good card in the deck. Again, drawing cards, they cost zero mana. Your hero power is summon lackeys. I mean, this deck's just nuts. Literally every card in this deck is just nuts. Uh, it's just so good. But Rogue is in such a good spot, in my opinion, uh, just because of the power level of the cards. Moving to Sayamont, he kills a minion, and you leave a 6-6 body on board, and if there's nothing on board, you give him Divine Shield, Wind Fury, and he does 12 the next turn if unchecked. It's insane. And then Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, again, a Highlander card, one of the best, and uh, she, again, just wins games on her own, depending on what you randomly generate. So, with that, if you like the deck, you like what you see, throw a like, throw a comment in the section below, let me know how it performs for you guys, because this is a juicy one, very good deck here, and uh, I will see you guys in the games. Enjoy. Yo, thanks again uh, for everybody who dropped follows this stream. We've gotten like Deadly Virus, fucking Karote, fucking Lord, fucking Matt, fucking Maloon, fucking Gabbert with the bits, Junk Stuff with the tier one, Jiggly with the fucking uh, follow. We had a Rowdy for the two months. I don't know where that three, where'd the tier three go? The tier three disappeared. But I know we had our boy dropping the tier three in here as well. The fuck? Also, fuck fucking Priest, dude. He says, you better be drinking. Let me talk to him right now. Seemed like he was having a good time playing some Final Fantasy. Fuck that card. I don't want Generous Mummy. Ooh, daddy. Happy snail noises. Oh, <gasps> daddy. Snail with the 20, dude. Snail, snail, snail. Happy snail noises. <laughs> Thank you, snail. It's a nice, generous little donation. So nice, so fresh, so clean. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you, snail. Dude, Snail, we talked for a while the other night. Holy shit. Dude, that fucking... It, it, oh my god. Alright, chat. Sh Snail, should I share with them the image I sent you with me in the conversation with that girl? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm evolving this card. Just fuck that card. I was just cooking the spaghettes. Yo, Rob, how's it going? Just submitted my final assignment. It feels good. If it's a feels good moment right now, dude. Impulse, congrats, dude. I know the feeling. School is one of them things, and I'm glad that you're doing well. Yeah. All right, guys. Here's the conversation with the female. It, it was a good. Uh, it was a good female. It was a good chat. It ended up uh, so awesome. So, um, as any really solid conversation goes only the best conversations i need hex right it'll give me a hex here okay getting a little scared there zephyrus the conversation goes so what's up yo good night rally <laughs> so what's up as at this point, I was going to unmatch, but I was really bored, and it was really late, and I couldn't fall asleep. So... What a day. 
I'm getting like I say drinking, laying in bed, can't fall asleep. What's your excuse for being up? She goes, my sleep schedule is fucked. I said you and everyone else right now. She goes, yeah, I'm miserable. I was like, hey, okay, well, hold on. I think I might actually go for tempo here. I'm like, yeah, and everybody, oh, hold on. I said, she goes, I'm miserable. And I go, sounds like a good time. She goes, I don't know about that. And at this point, I'm just like, I, I, I asked her a question. And because this has been her responses, literally three, four words and three words. I hit her with the, never mind, three word answers are pretty boring. Night with the little wavy sign. And then I made sure she read it and then I unmatched. That was a good, nice conversation I had. Really solid chat. Super solid. Some of the best conversations. Alright, so I'm my plan here is I'm gonna uh, attack with the weapon and then replay the Zephyrus. So I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm a Zephyrus, get the, get the homie out, swing at the weapon, return the homie. Nah, it's a different one. Yeah, I was like, three to four word answers are boring. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> Will it give me a hex here? Or is it going to give me like a Tyrion? It gives me garbage. Literal garbage. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Did I see the comment on yesterday's vid, Rob? Uh... Pretty good comment, Snail. Whew. That was a doozy. Your wish is my suggestion. <sighs> that was a doozy, Snail. Do I mind control this? Or do I Selene? If I mind control, that's all my mana. If I Selene... That means he can't res it. No, fuck, why didn't I mind control? Oh my god, I'm a fucking moron. I, mind control is 100 times better there, chat. I have no idea. I literally said mind control and then I picked Natalie. It's alright. I was too busy. This. Oh my god, Snail's comment. Hey Rob, did you know that 10 out of 10 people who say, Hey, how's it going? Get unmatched by Rob. Crazy stats. Crazy stats. Unbelievable. Oh shit, I actually hit Nazari. Ysera or evasive? Probably evasive, right? Why was mind control better there? Because um, if I take his minion, it gives him less minions in his pool of monsters, so there's a higher likelihood he's going to resurrect um, the uh, the frog. So many options. Of the south come to my aid. Unleashed. I really wish I had a. Secret. Try 
kind of be cool. You look like a fool to me. Frog, frog, frog. Yes. Yes. Get the shit out of that frog. Fuck that frog up. Oh, yeah, baby. Fuck that frog up. Actually, I think I just have lethal. Don't let the door hit you. Let me change your mind. I actually take the frog. <laughs> I actually take the frog as the win condition. The froggeth give. The froggeth take away. Valir versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Watch your back. <laughs> Draven, didn't you say something about WoW? Is the secret... I, I'm missing some comments here, guys, as I scroll back, so if I don't answer your comments, just just at me again and, and write it again. I promise you that it, I'm not ignoring them. There's just a, a ton of people in chat, and I've been trying to, you know, maintain... Like, I didn't even see... Yo, Rob, I hit that hand lock in the disky dono if you're trying to hit him with that Maui Wowie. Like... I didn't even see that awesome comment. <laughs> I'm scrolling up and I feel like I'm missing like one out of every 10. Hitting them with that Maui Wowie. Here all I say. Here I think I'm gonna do this so I can Zephyrus and then return Zephyrus back. This waggle pick has been surprisingly powerful. I really like it. Moth in the room? <gasps> There's a moth in the room? Really? Like really, really? Your wish is my suggestion. Alright, what's the best card? All right, these all fucking suck. Yeah, how is this the best card? What the hell is going on here? What kind of fucking shit? What, so what kind of cheap go. bullshit is this, chat? Here we go. What the heck? Like, where's the where was the value? What the hell? I got a Sorcerer's Apprentice. That whole setup got me a Sorcerer's Apprentice chat. That was like 100% not worth it. Negative worth, chat. Negative worth. I repeat, negative worth. Now he's gonna like overflow. He's gonna do dirty things to me. I played this secret in preparation of getting fisted, but... Like, I think he may in fact... Oh, God. Free zero mana draw five. I couldn't play the taunt, remember, Bio? Because if I play the taunt for free and I attack with the weapon, what if it returns the taunt minion and not Zephyrus? Come on, brother. Time waits for no one. So if, why would he make this guy, it seems really dumb, because I just play Zephyrus and I get shut over death, right? Like, seemed like a very silly, uh... Your wish is my suggestion. Yo, question, is Shark still in the meta? No, 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 all the Loas are gone.
Rising winds for draw. So he's looking for his uh, mount seller, right? I feel like I could run this spell druid deck pretty well. I feel like there's a right and a wrong way to play it. This is where the uh, the warden is really good. Or even if I get one more invoke. I mean, he still has two forest aids, right? He has two forest aids, another glow fly thing. And honestly, his deck should run Alex Straza, in my opinion, and Zephyrus. But they probably don't. They also should run two Savage Roars, which they don't. So best card I could draw. That's good. Any invoke really, I guess. This is what I was talking about with Bamboozle. Like it literally just made my, eh, I actually technically made it better. There's actually a strong indication I should have gone Galakron there. So I could have, um... So I could Kronks uh, next turn. Because you know he's going to fill up the board with shit this turn. There's the Mount Cellar. So here he goes. The bong bong bong. <laughs> That'd make it too much like high beam. It honestly should do like four or five damage, but it'd probably make the card too good. I'm just scared, man. If I go with this and I don't hit anything, I kind of just lose. That's the problem. I have to hit good stuff here. All right, that's... It was Z1 with the follow. Welcome. Oh, that was a that was a rickety situation there, boys. Now he's gonna play his forest aids, and I'm gonna hit him with the yabba dabba. There it is, the forest aids. There, here goes. We have the yabba dabba. Oh, ba 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 ba. Yeah, I think that'd make sense solo. Deal three, summon a two two. I think that's pretty good. But he has to have seven or more mana pudding. It's a lot. You are too late. This return is nine. I do this because this can draw into waste ward. I could I pick this because this can draw into waste warden or flick, and then I can play it in the same turn. Beat him down, beat him down, beat him down, beat him down. Pick yourself, pick yourself, pick yourself, pick yourself. Life and hope are worth fighting.
<laughs> Wax dread. Come here to learn the new ways of Hearthstone. Uh, this is a pretty new deck. Highlander Rogue isn't new, but the... How many new cards are in this deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight new cards in this deck. That's one third of the deck has changed. That's pretty significant. 